Hi Phil, um, I thought I'd make a little video to show you over the bike. As you can see, I'm doing the shims. I just made up this special tool um, the other day to uh, do that and so on. And you know, just a closer look. Got the shiny bits and so on. And I got this these uh, rims from another bike that I sold on. I wanted to keep my S2 because I can fool around with it, whereas a uh, 900SS is um, something you have to really look after, you know? So that's the best thing about the uh, S2s. And the worst thing, of course, is these, the bloody frame, you know, what they've done with it. They hollowed out this frame, which really annoys me. Um, the standard thing too with Jukes is this crack across here. I've got to pull pull that out and uh, have them weld up underneath again. Uh, yeah, got a shiny, uh, uh, you know, uh, chain guard and all that sort of thing. Now, but what you're interested in, and here's some detail from the front. I got these. Uh, they were just the most attractive. The black headlight looks cool. This is a satin nav speedo with a sender just here in the seat. It's brilliant. Um, there's, so there's no speedo drive. There's no cable. And there's no taco. Because if you don't know what revs you're doing, then you shouldn't be fucking riding it. So, and then lots of shiny bits and so on at clock and and so on i've got new two new uh coils i've got the new ignition system too that um that uh replaces you know the the original where it's just got one step instead of uh, uh gradual and so this is gradual it starts at eight degrees before top dead center um at zero revs and then it goes to i think uh, up to 800 it's and then once it gets past 800, it goes to 12, and then uh, after 12, it gradually goes up to, um, what is it, 23 or something, I can't think. Anyway, so, and the whole wiring harness collapsed a couple of years ago, right? These, these here were shorting out in here. The plastic just destroyed itself, you know, and then, um, and then, of course, it came away here, and then the... The ignition wires were crossed so that it was nearly breaking my leg with kick uh, uh, kickback. Um, so that what was happening, because the motor goes this way, this is an elaborate video, I know. Um, when this was coming, when this was firing, this was firing at the same time. So you're getting four sparks per cycle right, instead of the usual two, one and so that as that was sucking in the air, um, this was firing, and of course that was driving that down, and then driving the the, the, the gear lead, the um, Kickstarter up, and just fucking near tearing my Achilles tendon apart. So thankfully, I've had a friend help me with that. It's a U Butte. I don't know. I can give you details. This is the little ignition unit there, and another guy is making another one just as good uh, only problem with it is it uses really old uh windows 7 and you need a computer to do it and anyway my friend did that for me oh there's that torch and anyway so this is the frame right this is your typical frame and then you've got these studs these studs coming up can you see that hang on here we are no these studs come up through my seat base okay they just come up through holes in the bottom and then I put a, a nut on one side and then I've got a pin going through the middle of that. I don't know whether you can see. There you go. So that I just pull the pin on that side and undo the nut and then I've got the battery in there. It's just a little lead acid at the moment and I carry a heap of tools. I carry uh, all spares, car uh, uh, carby cables. Uh, and and a clutch repair kit in the little tin you can buy so anyway and I put in a new uh, fuse box right and I've just got the kill switch here I don't need a key you know like who cares um, and it's just so I had to do redo the whole wiring harness myself and it took me for ages because I'm not very smart that way and you know just little bits like this so I polished the, the uh, fork legs because I, I just like the look of them. Uh, a bit asymmetrical. This is the, what one that originally came with it. And I bought this one. 
uh, thrown some uh, some nice big trumpets on uh, the 40s I've had redone actually these I got from the the other bike that I sold a 90 sorry an 82 SS and um, they it idles now whereas before it was just pain in the ass anyway and I've got the breather I've just put a bit of fancy braided steel you know uh, steel hose there just to make it look a bit a bit sexier made up little ends here on my lathe uh, let me see now I'm running a two in a one to put that there and it's a Condi two in a one I got from Gowan Lock himself and uh, hang on what's going on there we are. okay and um, yeah so uh, the tank is a as you know a Mike Howard replica and I've never seen one before that had this stripe on it right and then I'll put that a little Wiley Coyote from NCR on there and that's been great it's um it works uh, it's 23 liters and it's great um a, a nice gold Brembo thing with jigs um just trying to think anything else that you might need to know oh yeah here you go so these are the uh side covers from the picture you saw that's the original that's another two in a one I've got I've got a a stain tune uh, two into one from an SS. I've put a uh, an extension piece on that. So you can just make it up. Oh, I can't find it. Come on. Here we go. No, can't do it. Anyway, you have to trust me. So it's got a nice tone, um, but uh, I prefer the look of the two into one. Right. So you've got this. And then you've got the bare side and it just gives it that custom look that i i like and um i've cut off the battery box right it might be bad but i always check for uh, any cracks or any um, paint peeling in case it starts cracking um but i just like that look to be able to look through the bike uh, i've just got these little things on there a big did, did have big round ones the typicals and so on and this is a the, a nice neat little tail light which is rather good unfortunately I've got a bit of crazing just here I don't know whether you can see it that where the battery was bouncing around I'd like to get it resprayed I made this up myself I got a an upholsterer in Singleton to make this and as you can see the profile it's beautiful it blends into the tank and then it's got a cut a cutaway in here or, or a detent a, an indentation hang on there yeah, here we go and it's and it's you can see the stipple too and it's a multiple different layers and it's very comfortable it's he did a great job so there's nothing complicated really about what I've done except I've just gone over it I found that these undo I found it was undoing a turn every 20 kilometers or something so now i've got that in there and just to make sure that it doesn't turn it's always got to be there and you know extra little things like this or rather like and um well this is a clutch sorry a brake lever from a yamaha uh i think it might be a thousand sports bike or something like that it's a, a 14 mil instead of the usual 16 and that means it's also adjustable and it means that I've got, instead of the lumps of wood that these usually are, it just works better now. You know, it's works. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, I'll show you the side stand, all right? This is a friend of mine, Tony Dean, okay? Put me, this is a, from a Monster 595, I think. And it just goes up and bolts onto the plate there. Get it as high as you can. And then I've uh, just got a little tang there, a little bolt. Tony's welded one on himself, and it tucks up like that. And it's just so nice to be able to do that. Whereas the other one, the standard one, was hanging off the front here with a great big bracket. It was stupid. So um, I have seen like titanium frames for this for eight grand. That'd be great. But um, I don't have that sort of money to throw at stupid stuff. And uh, I've dropped the forks 10 millimeters just to make quicken up the, st the um, steering. This is ridden hard, um, 
I see off a lot of riders on this and it's meant to operate properly. Now I've also done the um, swing arm spindle a lot, maybe two or three times. Finally, I gave the, I put the bushes in and gave them to an engineering mob to um, ream. And of course they didn't do it properly. They they reamed it from one side and reamed it from the other. And of course they're, they're not, they weren't parallel. So what I did was um, I just uh, reamed them myself at home. I just made sure that it was right and I waited. I just did it and then just fitted it perfectly. I'm a fitter and turner by trade actually. And um, yeah, so I've got that right. I found I was losing um, bearings a lot. You know, you get that wiggle in the back because the, um, the bearings go. And I've done so much stuff on this. And now it's it starts, uh, it runs, it's beautiful. And I love it. So there you go. That's the end of the story. Thanks.